welcome to Thursday. It's only Thursday, the weeks are going fast. We are headed out because it's boot camp. It's boot camp, we've done this before, it happens every spring. Like, it's time. It is time for boot camp. Gabby, what does boot camp mean? Pop tarts? What does it mean? Training. She's gonna get her horses into shape. So he has no horse. So yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so anyways, it's true. It's boot camp week. It's boot camp time, which means more riding every day, getting our horses in shape better. And in the winter, we kind of slack. We've we try been and... here every day this week. Yeah, I feel like we have been there every day this week. So anyway, let's do it. Let's go to the barn. We need to change all of our horses' blankets because it's spring again. Yesterday was winter. Today is spring. We are back with the OG horses. Chino Bambino. Yeah. And Finny Finn. And the mayor is already coming to the gate because of Sophie. Aren't you looking so cute and regal sitting there? I just looked over and he's just sitting there. He's literally my favorite cat. And just like that, he's with me. <laughs> came inside and he came flying right out. Gabby loves Thumper. He is a big no, boy. I you hate cats? I love yeah. I'm not a cat person either, but I, he, I love him. And you always pick up every cat. Cats love me. They all run to me, but I also call He's them. like the size of a baby. All right, put the phones down and let, oh, you're taking this, her daily selfie with Thumper. <laughs> He's gonna walk on the flowers today. All right. <laughs> and he might jump it. <laughs> Selfie's riding Finn today at a walk. Again, I just want to iter iter iterate that the horse is not lame. Whoa, he's trotting. <laughs> horse is not lame. Has not been lame. Has been evaluated by several professionals. And Sophie is, uh, he still needs to be in shape, kept in shape, and Gabby's been riding him, and our trainer's been riding him, and Sophie's been getting on him for a walk every once in a while. There we go. There we go. He's walking now. Can't make it around the whole arena without trotting. My strips are very long. But he's getting chubby. Oh, he was relaxed in there for a minute. Good boy! Yay! And there we go. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what you're supposed to do. She's doing collected, right? Lots of collected trot, I think. Lots of slow and steady collected. That's what I want so Gabby to do. On pole, live in the poles, he said. This is endurance training. Literally in love with this boy, like, I love him. So this is all Gabby's allowed to do for now. It's like a lot of walk trot. A lot of raised poles, some flower boxes. And all this girl's doing is just walking around on her pony. No hands, no pressure, just enjoying him. But literally, I love him. Like, he's beefy. He's a beefcake. With Chino, I think having a little bit of extra weight is not necessarily a bad thing because under stressful situations, he loses weight really easily. You forgot how much you love him? So this is the bucket that I leave in the car. And the reason I leave it in the car is because it has stuff in it that I need for like all of our horses. Sometimes I need the stuff at home, sometimes I need it here. So I have water that I leave for this barn because there's not, there's not water here. Not easily accessible water, so a work to get it. I leave sunscreen. I leave masks. I leave uh, banamine. I leave butte here. I leave liniment, which is what we're going to need for uh, Chino today and every day. And then I leave this hard brush in here. But I also have other stuff. I have stuff for their feet. I have other stuff that I'm going to put in there, but it's like stuff that I use between the barns so i literally keep that bucket in my oh it's cold in here i literally keep that bucket in our van so that i always have it so then i have i think this 
is spray that I use for like rain rod and stuff like that, which bacteria and stuff, which we don't usually have a problem with. But then I have like this stuff and this stuff. And I think I'm going to put it, actually, I have one of those at home. So I'm going to put all this stuff in there. It's just stuff that I use all the time on a regular basis. And I've really been like doing a lot of springtime stuff with the boys lately. But that makes me want to know. Oh, I heard like a loud noise and I... Yeah, and he said, no! I always, oh, he's like, oh, no, there's carrots in there. <laughs> yeah, I let him do it once. <laughs> Funny boy. Uh, is the other one coming out? Are you getting the other horses? Yeah, I'm putting this one on. Oh, I was going to get their rain sheets because it's actually warm out today. I'll go grab those, okay? okay? So, it makes me want to ask you guys, what do you keep in your well, little you bucket for springtime? Like, what extra stuff do you do? Use. I also have, like, our favorite boot polish, boot cleaner, and I have other things that we do, but I just don't keep them in this bucket. So what do you guys use? I need to get some stuff for Grayfin to, for cleaning him in here. Insulated rain sheets for everyone. I don't even know whose is whose. I think that's Finn's. Is this uh, Chino's? We're almost done. We got Finn done. And now we're almost finished Chino. We got liniment. We're gonna do his legs so you don't be getting sore because you're in boot camp. Boot camp is muscles, aching muscles for sure. Sophie's in here with the new girl lunging. Can I grab the lunch hook and actually like lunch her? Sure, of course. Okay, because that would help us bond. So, um, a lot of questions. Whoa, it's about her. She's great, she's amazing. I just don't know if she's for us. Not because of anything, like Sophie loves riding her. Not She doesn't have any bad issues. It's just that we're looking for something specific. You guys know. Like, like she's amazing, absolutely amazing. We're just looking for something specific. Like we don't really want a mare. She, Sophie loved her. We don't want a mare because we have geldings and like for show season and trailering and keeping them all together and like just logistics like that. But that wouldn't stop us from keeping up a horse she looks gorgeous also like there are some things that mares do that I find like a little bit more tricky and at this point I just feel like any horse is good for Sophie to learn on and like she'd be just a learning experience right now and that's what we're looking for sometimes mares are more sensitive and it's not a, not a bad thing she's not bad with her being sensitive but I just don't know if that's what I want right now for Sophie like it's just trying to find the best fit for Sophie. Sophie loves riding her under saddle. She's like so mild-mannered and easygoing and takes a joke and, and she's really good like that. I just don't know, you guys. Like Recently, I saw a horse that was a gelding and he was actually a Palomino, oddly. And he literally just walked out of the field and was the calmest, most point and shoot horse that I've ever seen in my life. I feel like that's kind of what I want for Sophie. Like I want something so so easy going. Does that make sense? Like nothing wrong with this horse. I'm just not sure if we're ready for her. Does that make sense you guys? Also we are totally open to lease options. We are looking at leases, have been looking at leases. Just we're not quite sure yet. Like sometimes it takes trialing a horse or riding a horse to decide like what we need and what we don't need to rule things out like this is a huge thing and the reason i haven't been really showing the horse is because it's not my horse and brandon doesn't care if we show it but i don't know if we don't lease this horse or if we don't buy this horse like i don't know what brandon plans to do with it and so it's not my place to put it out there on social media for people to judge it and it, does that make sense? Like, it's this Brandon's horse. Like, if we decide to make it a part of our story, then of course I'll show her. Of course I will. But, yeah. So that is it. That's, she's looking at me and looking at me. So he's lunging her and she's stunning. You gotta change Stormy McKnight. Blanket. We do the drive-by switcheroo. We drive by, park in the driveway, and Gabby runs into the field. Glad to see you wore your running shoes. Storm is our horse to that. Here, I'll pass it. Storm is our horse that will lose his mind if he gets too hot, so we're always extra careful. We're super careful with changing his blankets. 
the horse out there with his head missing. You see? The horse with no head. Do you see it? Just a big long neck stuck in a round bale. Well, there it is. Oh, look. He's already coming. Like, he knows us. He knows us. He knows our car. He just pushed his brother off. Aww. Poor Tabby. This is what happens when you have other horses. He's got his ears perked right up there. He's like, hmm. Should I come? We always bring him treats, so. Do you guys know? I've been doing a lot of research on treat training. And a lot of people don't really love it. The idea of it. And I've been doing a lot of research and people like it's a it's the new wave it's the wave of the future people actually say that horses can be trained just the same as like dogs and other animals that we actually train so many animals like even in zoos and stuff animals are trained with food and that it's the single biggest motivator for most animals horses included and a lot of people like especially like from older training they believe horses just get too pushy he's like yes I'm naked <laughs> oh here's my girl I just love you anyways I noticed like a big change in our girl since we started with treat training and I really like it my dog, I don't yeah Gabby's dog doesn't need treats motivation for her is just interest she's just interested my dog needs treats uh oh just did not see this going well because Gabby doesn't have the straps off the fence and he walked away uh oh <laughs> and he's walking away oops yeah that's good I'd be a ghost in the field Gabby <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Sophie's going in. Oh, now he's coming for Sophie. <laughs> he's like a new person, new treats. Here he comes. Look, he came right back. <laughs> uh oh, this is not going to go well. Yay! So it's war It's gonna be warm enough today that they don't really need blankets, but we're putting their rain sheets on because it's gonna rain. But anyway, that was all I had to say about treat training. Comment below if you treat train, if you believe in it, or if you believe in more standard tr training techniques with horses. We just um, put our hands on the neck. Sophie just has her hands on his neck. He thinks he's caught. There you go, handsome. You're all fresh. All fresh. It's actually kind of cold in the barn, you guys. Now that we have 50 pounds of carrots, it makes me wonder why do we have 50 pounds of carrots? Feed the kitty. If there's one job I feel like I always do and nobody else does it, it's feeding the cat, but I don't mind. I like, I like him a lot. Oh, hello, kitty. Well, hello. I fed you, so just in case <laughs> you're He's feeling. Yeah, he is pretty fat. Um, he has food, but he chooses to go hunt. Yeah. And he does eat his food too. Yeah. If he can't catch anything in the hunt, then he goes to eat his food. But he probably catches a lot. I don't know. He's so cute. I love cats that never get dirty too. I always put them back to where I got them. Are you saying hi to me or hi to Gabby? Oh. Are you going to Gabby or me? Oh, psych. Going to me. Psych. Oh, goodness. No. Yeah, look at how grouchy she is today. Right. You see that? Just grouchy. That's another reason why horses are like hard. You think you just throw them in a field, but you don't. You can't. Whoa, look at how pretty you are. You're pushing me. Well, don't stand behind Can me. She looks good. Look how good she looks. 
Look how good you look. Uh oh. <laughs> right to me. Go with Sophie. She actually likes her face being cleaned, I think. Or maybe she doesn't. But she does. Oh, yes, you need a brush. All right, see you later. <laughs> Sophie's got a treat and she won't go with her. She's just staying with me. <laughs> Fine, she says. Fine. Look it. You need a brush. That's the uh, on the agenda for today. She is grouchy. This is not a day I would ride. See how grouchy she is? Wow, she's kind of chunky too. All of our horses came through winter a little on the chunky side. Hello, sweet baby girl. That was actually so cute, you guys. Sophie just called Gracie and she just came cantering right to her. in the barn or sit on in on the bench and I just watch our horses I literally just sit here I literally just sit here and watch them because one they're adorable two they're gorgeous and three I just like watching them like you learn so much like Penny is itchy <laughs> she's like I need a brush and Gracie just wants to be with us and Willow just wants to eat her food. And Willow just wants all the food. You guys need to go out there and eat some of that food because Willow is looking really chubby. But isn't that weird? Like we made it through the whole winter and everybody pretty much did the same. And then poof, it's the beginning of spring and they're all pew, pudgy. Don't you know?